If you're studying public health or you're learning epidemiology, you would have heard the terms incidence and prevalence, and I'm gonna quickly describe the difference between these two ideas. This is part of a short series of videos that I'm doing. Each video will be short, and I'm focusing on the definitions of concepts and terms that we use in public health and in epidemiology. So I hope you enjoy, and just so that you know, this channel is sponsored by Nested Knowledge. That's a platform that supports systematic literature review and meta-analysis. They're absolutely amazing. Check out the link in the description below. Okay, and with that, on with the lesson. First of all, let's talk about incidence. Incidence is the number of new cases that we see in a defined population in a defined period of time. So for example, if we had 10 people and we looked at them over a one year period of time, right? So we've got a defined population, we've got a defined period of time, and we're asking how many new cases of cancer emerged during that period of time. We would, let's say for example, three of them got cancer in that one year, we would say the incidence is three over 10, so 30%. Now importantly, we're only counting new cases of cancer. In other words, of the 10 people, if there were some that came into that year period with pre-existing disease, in other words, they already had cancer, they would not be included in the incidence. If the numbers are very small, we might not present them as a percentage, but rather as per 100,000 population. So you would have heard during the COVID-19 pandemic, we often present COVID-19 data as this is the incidence per 100,000 population over the last seven days. Now let's talk about prevalence. Prevalence is the number of people who have a disease or some kind of health outcome that we're interested in at a point in time. So in this example, at year two, there are four people that have cancer. So four out of the 10 is 40%. So the point prevalence, so there's a point in time, we call it the point prevalence, is 40%. Now, other than the point prevalence, there's another kind of prevalence that we also talk about. We talk about a period prevalence. So we could look at the prevalence of cancer during a year period of time. How is that different from the incidence? Well, here's the difference. We said, if you're counting the incidence, we want new cases and we don't include cases that came into that year with pre-existing disease. That's not the case with a period prevalence. A period prevalence would count up the people who had the disease during that year, even if they came into that year with pre-existing disease. So we're not just counting new cases. Thanks for tuning into the Global Health YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you haven't before. Hit the bell notification so you get notification of future videos. I really enjoy feedback, so put comments in the comment section below. Now, stay and watch another video. The next video that I want you to watch is one on risk, rate, and odds, right? Understanding the difference between these three very important concepts. Okay, stay well, don't do drugs, always do your best. Speak to you soon, bye.